The history of Uruguay's military coup and the subsequent return to democracy is a significant chapter in the country's history, characterized by a period of authoritarian rule followed by a successful transition back to democratic governments. Here is a detailed overview of this period. 1. The 1973 military coup, on the 27th of June, 1973, the Uruguayan armed forces, led by General Gregorio Alvarez, staged a military coup and overthrew the democratically elected government of President Juan Maria Bordaberry. The coup was triggered by political instability and increase in polarization between left-wing and right-wing political groups in Uruguay. It followed a series of confrontations, strikes, and social unrest. 2. Authoritarian rule After the coup, the military established a civilian military junta that effectively governed the country. General Aparicio Mendez served as the junta's president. The junta implemented a repressive regime, curbing civil liberties, suppressing political opposition, and engaging in human rights violations, including torture, imprisonment and forced disappearances of political dissidents, political parties were banned, labor unions were suppressed, and censorship of the media was widespread. 3. Human rights abuses The period of military rule in Uruguay, often referred to as the Uruguayan dictatorship, was marked by gross human rights abuses. Many individuals were subjected to torture, detention, and extrajudicial killings. Notable incidents included the infamous Operation Condor, a coordinated campaign among South American military dictatorships to eliminate political opponents. Uruguay was a key participant in this operation. 4. Economic challenges The military government also implemented economic policies that led to a severe economic crisis, characterized by high inflation and unemployment. 5. Return to democracy, international pressure and internal opposition gradually led to the military junta's decision to transition the country back to civilian rule, in 1984. Negotiations took place between the military and civilian political leaders, culminating in the Pact of the Club Naval. This pact established the conditions for a return to democracy, which included the lifting of the ban on political parties. In November 1984, Uruguay held elections, and Julio Maria Sandinetti, a civilian leader, was elected as president. Marking the end of the dictatorship and the beginning of the return to democracy, the 1984 election marked the first step in re establishing democratic institutions, and the country gradually worked to rebuild its political and civil society. 6. Human rights trials In the years following the return to democracy, Uruguay began to address the human rights abuses committed during the dictatorship. Some individuals involved in these abuses faced legal proceedings and trials. 7. Democratic stability Since the return to democracy in 1984, Uruguay has maintained a stable and functioning democratic system with regular elections and peaceful transitions of power. The country has taken steps to address its past by establishing truth and reconciliation commissions, providing reparations to victims, and memorializing the victims of the dictatorship. The transition from authoritarian rule to democracy in Uruguay is seen as a successful example of peaceful restoration of democratic governance, reconciliation, and the pursuit of justice for human rights abuses. It serves as a testament to the resilience of democratic values and institutions in the face of authoritarian challenges. Uruguay, a small South American country known for its democratic traditions, has had a series of presidents with notable achievements throughout its history. Here is an overview of some of Uruguay's presidents and their significant achievements. 1. Fructuoso Rivera 1830 until 1835 and 1839 until 1844. Fructuoso Rivera was Uruguay's first president, serving two non-consecutive terms, he played a crucial role in the country's struggle for independence from Spanish rule. Rivera also initiated the creation of the Constitution of 1830, which laid the foundation for Uruguay's political system. 2. José Battle Y.O.R. Donés, 1903 until 1907 and 1911 until 1915, José Battle Y.O.R. Donés was a prominent figure in Uruguayan politics and a member of the Colorado Party, he is known for his progressive reforms which transformed Uruguay into a welfare state with a strong emphasis on social justice, Battle Y.O.R. Donés introduced significant labor and social legislation, including workers' rights and women's suffrage. 
his legacy contributed to Uruguay being one of the most progressive and socially advanced countries in South America. 3. Luis Batalberez, 1947 until 1951, Luis Batalberez was a nephew of José Batal y O. Ardones and a member of the Colorado Party, he continued his uncle's progressive policies, particularly in the area of social welfare. His administration is credited with implementing important labor reforms and promoting industrialization. 4. Tabaré Vázquez 2005 until 2010 and 2015 until 2020, Tabaré Vázquez was the first left-wing president in Uruguay's modern history and a member of the Front Amplio party, he was known for his emphasis on social programs, healthcare and education, during his presidency, Uruguay legalized same-sex marriage and became one of the first countries in the world to do so. 5. Jose Mujica, 2010 until 2015, Jose Mujica, also a member of the Front Amplio, was a unique figure in Uruguayan politics, he was known for his simple lifestyle, having donated much of his presidential salary to charity. Mujica's administration was marked by the legalization and regulation of the marijuana market, making Uruguay the first country to do so. 6. Luis Lacalle Pau, 2020 until present, Luis Lacalle Pau, a member of the center-right Partido Nacional, assumed the presidency in March, 2020, his administration has focused on economic reform, including measures to stimulate investment and job creation, Lacalle Pau's government has also emphasized security and public safety. These are just a few examples of Uruguay's presidents and their significant achievements. The country's political landscape has been marked by a diverse range of leaders, reflecting its multi-party democracy and a history of social and political progress. It's worth noting that each president has contributed to shaping the nation's political and social fabric in their unique way.